Very recently, I have found a new love towards Astro. In case you have heard about Next.js, Remix, or similar JavaScript framework, Astro is kind of a similar one, but with a different approach, entirely different approach of how things should work and how minimalistic things can be. Hey there, everyone. My name is Itesh, and I make a lot of coding videos, including follow followable tutorials where you can just follow along with me and latest industry tech news, what's happening around, what's going on in the AI space, what's going in the coding space, and a lot of other fun stuff happens on this channel. So in case you are new here, go ahead, hit that subscribe. And in today's video, I will walk you through with Astro, my some thoughts about it, how I'm using it in the production. And there is also a new component library in the Astro, which is going to make life a little bit easier. It's not really a fancy library that is going to change everything with the animations and stuff. It's very basic, minimalistic, just like Astro is. So first, let me walk you through that what is Astro, how does it work, and where I'm using it, and what my audience who is actually consuming the content via the Astro website, what, what's their thought and feedback that comes to me. So let me share the screen with you. So this is the website which is built totally in the Astro. I'll come back onto this one. First of all, this is Astro. So as they say, this is the framework, the web framework for content-driven website. So website has a lot of things that you can build uh, and each framework is specialized in some or the other kind of a thing. Next.js has its own specialty, Remix has its own specialty and there are websites which are very content driven, especially like application like docs, application like blogs, even e-commerce website because you don't load the product every next day. There are already loaded product and not the whole website needs to be entirely dynamic. Some of the portions can be dynamic. And that's what the thought process is behind the Astro. So if you go ahead and look for it, of course, the bigger names are here. And Astro is a JavaScript web framework optimized for building fast and the content driven website. The keyword here is the content driven. If you have too much of the content uh, on your website, uh, then Astro actually serves really well. It doesn't consume too much of the bandwidth, uh, can be loaded up like majorly from the CDNs itself. And the performance is really nice and you don't have to do any configuration for that. It's out of the box. And again, no, Astro guys don't even know that I'm making a vi video on that. The whole point was to make a video on this component library, but I'm just setting up the stage so that you know what the Astro is and where I'm actually using. What I really like about the Astro concept is the Astro Island. So the concept here is, uh, let's first read this and then I'll walk you through. Uh, islands optimize your website like no other web framework can. Leverage Astro's unique page load performance to improve the conversion rate, core web vitals, and SEO. So what the Astro says is that not whole of your website needs to be loaded up via the JavaScript. And you can pinpoint and plant the JavaScript only where it is needed. Maybe in some buttons, maybe some click behaviors, or some kind of a things. And that's what the Astro islands denote that no, we are not going to load the entire websites uh, with just with the whole JavaScript. And notice here it says zero lock-in. And yes, that is very, very true with the Astro. You can just go ahead and move it or integrate it in any framework that you like. And a whole lot of things are there. I can probably make a separate video on just the features of Astro. So I found it really interesting that what Astro can do. And notice here, there are landing pages, examples, portfolios. A lot of portfolios are there. E-commerce, some of the trendings, blogs, docs. A whole lot of things are there in the Astro that you can do. One of the things where I use Astro is on my docs website. Of course, it's a lot of work that you have to maintain your own infrastructure. And of course, I have to maintain my code and push it on the GitHub and have to deploy this. But I think it's definitely doable when there is uh, such things like that. And again, uh, these two blocks are not aligned. It's intentional. It's fun. And when I click on the Astro docs and go onto the Git and GitHub, this is how the docs look like. They're all beautiful and I can see all the diagrams, the code blocks are there. I can just jump onto this. This is a classic typical documentation website. Doesn't consume any much of my bandwidth. Uh, yes, of course, uh, a little bit there because of the heavy traffic, but people actually love this. It's very simplistic. There are no bells and whistles, but that's how the documentation needs to be. It needs to be really, really simple. And that's where I actually use, and this is the deployed version. You can also go ahead and check out the docs.chaiko.com at Astro. Uh, turns out this is a very basic and minimalistic application because in the Astro, yes, I could have injected a lot more things and made it much more beautiful, but there is no dedicated or there was no dedicated component library so far for the Astro, which says, hey, we are for the Astro. Uh, just then when I saw uh, the full dev UI and they just rolled out by the just, I mean to say a few hours ago, they rolled out the Astro UI library. 
again, the whole point of somebody who is using, using Astro is not the fanciness. It's all about the simplicity that they go after. And this is kind of a consistent thing with the entire Astro. So what they are bringing in is the pre-built blocks and uh, with just the props. So the whole idea is you don't need to do too much of the uh, injection of the Tailwind CSS and whatnot. It's going to look just exactly the same. You just change your content. That's that's the whole idea. And that's the whole idea of the entire Astro. This blog that you see here, it's totally run by MDX. Yeah, just the markdown syntax with a little bit of the components on my own. And that's what they are also going to do head with this one. And what I really like about the most is the blocks. Of course, the components are there. Uh, not very impressive, decently impressive as it's a work in progress, but compared to the previous versions, this is much better. Uh, if you notice in the card section, this is the first section which I always go in and check. So this is how the card looks like. And all you have to do is to grab this card is just import the card from the UI and then there's your card. Write your headings and text. The whole idea about the Astro is focus on the content and we'll take care of the functionality, we'll take care of the components. So this is what I really like. My favorite part about this library is, is the blocks. This is where I probably will save a whole lot of time. Notice here, there is this section here. If I go ahead and look for it, if I want to have this kind of a section, this is it. This is all. Yep, this is literally the code that I, ha I have to inject. Notice here, how teeny tiny that is. And I'll have a section which just looks like this. And this is optimized. I don't have to take care about where are the classes, where are this, where are that. This is the part where I like this, this approach here. Uh, notice here, if you want to have, let's just say, what do you want? You want to have a review section. Uh, that's it. You just focus on just putting or injecting the content. That's it. And this is going to just give you reviews like this. If you want a review like this, scrollable, just go ahead and have this. So many components are there. Yeah, and it's all free, available to you, open source. And if you want to have, let's just say, a hero section, uh, yes, of course, there's a lot of room for improvement, but it just works. A basic, you can have a nice image and just a clickable links if you want to have certain like this. Of course, these are not the best hero section, but it does the job. If you want to have a website, just put some image, have some content here, just like we do at the homepage. We have some of the content and just a logo. That's it. The simplicity is the key. Of course, as the library is going to grow ahead more, will progress more, we'll have more of the stuff that are nice. Notice here how cute this CTA is. Oh man, it just looks great out of the box. I don't have to do. The fun part for me is I can focus just on the content and what I really want to do. It matches the name of Astro, which is Content Driven Website. The whole thing is, the whole point is, is the content. So if you think you want to build something which is heavily content focused, uh, then I think this could be a good one. Go ahead and try this out. It's it's really fun. And if you read the docs of the Astro, you can do pretty much almost everything, API calls to whatever you want to do, almost everything up here. But if, yes, of course, there's a way to learn about the Astro, how the writing works, how the endpoint works, how the middleware works into that. But there's a great documentation on it. And if you wish, I can just help you out in creating a crash course or something with that. I've been using it for a while and I love, I'm loving it. I'm loving the experience of exploring it. I'm loving the experience of going into the docs. Again, this is just an exploratory video to show you that yes, there is something really new and interesting and it's getting supported by these UI libraries. So go ahead, check it out. And uh, this is it. This is just a regular video where I try to explore tech with you. Uh, until uh, want to show you that, hey, you are ready for a new tech or not. Hey, this is something out. Go ahead, check it out. That's it for this video. A new library is here, uh, full uh, dev UI. Again, it's not a sponsored video. It's an open source library. Astro doesn't even know about this video is out there. Uh, so yeah, that is it uh, from my side. I really like to introduce you to the new stuff that is coming out. That's what I enjoy the most, bringing new tech to you so that you can also try and explore that. That is it for this video. Let's catch up in the next one.